and Mr. Basil Chapman as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every, every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under newsletters, and you're going to see the opening call on the left-hand side, the second one down. You hit that view. You hit, as soon as you hit that view, there we go. How about that? There we go. We hit the view. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Basil has approximately um, about 13 archives out there. So you can totally understand how you ride the Chapman wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing good. You, yourself? I'm good, thank you. A little, the voice is a little scratchy, but I'm feeling good. Good. Awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah. Well. So, <laughs> yeah. So this is going to be very interesting. So uh, let me just go through a couple of things, a couple of techniques that I'll show, and I'll show them actually tomorrow in my show, the 10 o'clock uh, Tiger, okay. uh, Tiger show. And I also want to show you right now that in my methodology, one of the, one of the key things that we look for is let me just grab this. I'll slide it across. I try to identify the lowest low bar and then count each successively higher peak. Yes. If uh, the uh, if the there's a buy signal that's uh, initiated and it gets upgraded to a buy mode, that implies that there should be at least four higher peaks. Peak A is the first, B is the second, peak C is the third, peak D is the fourth. It could go higher to E, F, and G, but at D, other things can happen. Every once in a while, I just the price just misses it making a D. But if the other technicals show a little a little weakness on the way up to that test of the high, then I can call it a D. So in this case, the Dow, which went to two techniques I'm going to show right now. Okay. One is I have something called the inside track repellent zone. You see this green and red on the daily chart on the left here? Yes. This rising diagonal mini channel. It's just fascinating. Look how many times the price went and it just couldn't break through, couldn't go over and above the green line. So I've learned over the years to call that the repellent zone. When it happens at the bottom, I call it a propellant zone. Actually, I don't like too messy charts, so I got rid of the parallel channel here. It took it right out on that Thursday that, that plunged $500. So this peak went to 39889 on the 21st of March. The second peak went 20 points below it. So we've initiated, we, we've got long-term long positions. I don't want to touch that because I'm still very bullish. We're only in the leg C in the monthly chart. Remember, the idea is to go to at least a D. And we had a peak C in the weekly chart. So we are short on the short term for the Dow. And now I want to slide over to this particular chart right here. I've been talking to you about this for some time. And I said, it's incredible how long. It's taken the nine period exponential moving average in the Dow. So this is the nine period exponential. This is the 14. On November the 3rd, it crossed positive. And only a couple of days ago did this go pink. Isn't that incredible? That, that's, that, five, that's, that's, five why, that's why the, the guy that, uh, who's, the, who's the guy that owns the Red Sox? I mean, he's a trend trader, right? Oh. That, yeah. Well, this is the trend. All right. So, uh, yeah. So what's interesting is that's the first time that the Dow, this, the, these are the same charts, but the one on the right is just clear. The gray line, thick gray line is the current price of the Dow. And uh, the pink uh, under the uh, black here is the 9 and 14 period moving. It's when it goes pink, you've got to be a little careful. So now look at this. We've got the uh, QQQ, the NDX 100. Went pink the other day. It's not a very wide distance, but it is pink. And even here, we just were, were under it. So the, there was there were two bars. There was a, like a Friday and a Monday back in early January where it went pink. And then it went green again. It's been green, except for those two days, all the way from November the 3rd. So I'm watching that very closely. And actually, to put everything together there, the end... NVDA, which is NVIDIA, and I've been talking about the semiconductors for a long time, saying when they finally roll over, I think that the market will pull back. But that's when we're going to get a test of the selectivity of this market. 
Will the, 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 the big seven, the major seven stocks, will they start to pull back? Will the semis, which were leading us up, pull back? And then will be there something that takes its place. So that's what that I'll talk about. I'll do that in my show tomorrow at 10. But what I'll talk about right now is that Vinia just went negative. And this is one of the lead stocks, certainly in the semiconductor index, but the SMHs, and it's fascinating because the SMHs, that's the core, that's the sector, holding tight, hasn't yet turned pink. So anything can happen, but it's getting very close. So for subscribers, we've got our core longs, we've got different positions in different sectors. You know, we've got what I think are under the radar sectors. Uh, but most importantly, I want to see what happens. And as I say, my weekly charts are still very strong. It's these daily, the shorter term, and we're gonna just go one step at a time. So to go with that, look at this SHW, this Sherwin Williams, um, pulling back from 348.47, the all-time high was back in November of, I think it was November of 2021, uh, 354.15, plunges all the way down to under 200, and it comes back to within a couple of dollars of that all-time high. I love these cup formations. And it's now pulling back a bit. So together with that, I'm looking at VLDR. So this is Sherman Williams is in the housing uh, area. Uh, this is builder, builder's first source. This is building materials, manufacturing components. Uh, made a 214.70, and that same day did it. Did it 209 round number high, uh, low, and since then that's uh, in March. And now it's trading at 199. So I'm watching to see how these, th this particular sector, especially the home builders, which have held fantastically when you think that rates have gone higher. But I am watching them very closely. Uh, Toll Brothers has pulled back a little bit. It did 130. What I also meant to mention is that, you know, I've spoken to you about these round numbers. Isn't it fascinating? NVIDIA made an all-time high of 974.00 on the 8th of March. Here it is at 8.45, pulling back from that number. I can go through a whole bunch of stocks like that. You've got MSTR. This is uh, uh, this is MicroStrategy. Makes it all. It goes to 199.99. This is a round number by a point, but but by a penny. I'm sorry. And but that same day, it has a 1953.00 round number open, 1942 round number low, and yet it is trading down at 14.26. So I, I'm watching these things to say. Are we getting some kind of a rollover in the sectors that were really strong and now are taking a breather? And we've also rotated. You know, we sp I spoke to you that we're still long for subscribers to my opening call from the 13s. DBA, the Agricultural Fund. This says to me that they, there's definitely these commodities. This is part of inflation. Uh, look, 25.05. Yeah, big time. High. Big time. Yep. So, uh, you know, the, I think the Fed has a, a, a challenge coming up. That's for sure. Because um, those rates, you know, the TLT is rallying today, but we've got to watch these closely. And that's what I'm saying. For subscribers, we're watching the, the building area. We're watching the, the rates. We're watching uh, how the commodities react. And at the same time, what was working very well, we're watching to see if they start to pull back. And it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You can hit newsletters on the left-hand side, the opening call. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. Look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks.